here's a real quick teaser for our uh, upcoming Nectar Sync plugin. And uh, basically, we made this one uh, for more for ourselves. This is kind of a greedy plugin. We uh, we oftentimes come into the situation where we have uh, have a game where we're playing on our iPhone, and uh, you know it's a universal game, and maybe we want to go ahead and play it on the iPad when uh, when we're at home, you know, not out traveling or whatnot. And most games these days do not have a way to get your save game data from one device to another. iTunes is absolutely terrible at it. Uh, it just it doesn't help out in any way, shape, or form. So that's where Nectar comes in. Nectar is uh, you know, it's just going to be a quick demo right here. What this is uh, what this little demonstration showing you and on the left we have an iPod, and you can see it has a, a string. I'm an iPod there in that text box. Uh, the segmented controls on one. The sliders over on the left there, and there's zero files in the documents directory. So the idea behind Nectar is. Uh, we wanted to make one touch, so just one method call, and you can go ahead and sync all of your player prefs and all of the documents folder contents from one device to another. And this will work across iPhones, iPods, and iPads. It uh, it'll only sync up with other versions of with other um, actual versions of your game running, so you don't have to worry about it trying to sync up and you know connect into phones that don't even have your game on it. So on the right. We have an iPhone 4 here, and you can see it has a total of, uh, well, hopefully you can see this, it has uh, eight documents in the, or eight, eight files in the documents directory. Text box says, uh, you know, phones are better, and the segmented controls all the way over to the right. So there's a bunch of stuff you can't see here as well. There's about, uh, you know, probably about 20 or 30 different things that, uh, that are in the player prefs that, uh, that are, you know, just not visible on here. So these, these three things are just showing uh, an int for the segmented control, a string for the text box, and a float for the uh, slider on the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to set one up as a sender and one as a receiver. That's all it is. One button press, one method call. So obviously all the data is on the iPhone 4 on the right, so we're going to want him to be the sender. So we push B sender here, over here. We want the iPod to be the receiver. So you can see we get some quick little status messages, started the sync right there, and bam, done. So You'll notice straight off we had we now have uh, eight files in the documents directory. The text box was updated, the segmented control was updated, and the slider was updated. So those are all the player prefs that were just transferred from one device to another, and uh, they were all just dumped straight from the iPhone 4 over to the iPod. And uh, it was pretty quick too. And we had a couple one meg images in the documents directory, uh, so um, you can see it's it's near instant. So I'm going to go ahead and just flush everything out of the iPod again and just clear everything and move it around. Okay, so there's also, um, you know, we, we're trying to foresee that some people are maybe going to have multiple devices in there and multiple uh, versions of the game coming up. So we also offer, uh, we're going to have an advanced API as well. So again, we're going to choose sender on the iPhone 4 and then we're going to choose receiver on the iPod. And this version uh, basically uh, just lets you selectively choose who to sync with. So you can see that the iPod showed up here on the iPhone, and if we want to go ahead and send our data over, we just touch the button. And again, we got the started sync message coming through and finished. So we look over here, and sure enough, we again have eight files in the documents directory, and all the player prefs are updated. So this is going to be one touch syncing. It's going to be. Uh, we hope to see this in every game out there that we ever play, because uh, there's nothing more annoying than. Uh, you know, getting uh, getting your guy up to level 40 in Infinity Blade, and then you want to play it on the iPad to you know enjoy the big screen, and you're back at level one. So hopefully you guys will start implementing this in all your games, and this will become a, a standard. All right, thanks for watching.